Too sexy for my love. Too sexy for my love. Love's going to leave. I'm the real Sherman Rainey. You're not the real thing. You're only a let on. I'm the real thing. Everybody knows that I'm the man that everybody wants to see. Sherman Rainey, Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, Sherman Rainey over here, BSN TV. So I didn't realise we were recording there. Sorry, sorry. Hi there folks, how are you? It's Sherman Mourinho here at BSN TV. It's the BSN TV soccer show for all you guys out there and for all you viewers this week again. What have we on the show for you this week? First of all, what we're going to have, we're going to run through the night uh, goal scoring system uh, of what the results of the games were during the week. We also have a, a Club Insight interview this week with Randall's Town Sky Blues uh, and Big Paul Quiggs Quigley down there in Randall's Town who gave me an interview during the week. It's very informative of, of the plans which a, a Randall's Town Sky Blues have for the season and what they wish to end up as part of the season. Uh, we also have a Legends, a special small series now that we're going to be running for quite a few weeks now. We're going to ask Legends of the Saturday Morning League a few questions. And this week it's going to be Muchi uh, Barr from uh, Harville Homers who last year received the 40th year anniversary uh, of being part of the league of Harville Homers representation in the Ballymena Saturday Morning League. So we've asked Muchi four or five questions, quite a fine interview and quite a, some a fascinating answers. We also have an interview with uh, the two Bones brothers. We have Gary and Barry Bones from Ballykeel and Harville Homers who played the other night there at Ballykeel. It was a good game, it was a feisty game, it was hotly tempered, it was well played. And uh, I must say it's a great interview for the two brothers to give me a chance to get a chat with them. And at the end of the show we will have a fascinating uh, interview with uh, Josh McCrory and quite a few of his guys who not only uh, on Friday evening the past there played a game at the showgrounds between the Bally uh, Liverpool supporters and the Bally Manchester United supporters. They played at the showgrounds and raised the best part of £3,000, which is a phenomenal amount of money. £3,000 they raised for uh, Macmillan Cancer Care, for the Macmillan Cancer Cup, which I thought was absolutely fantastic. So it's on with the show. We're going to run through the results here now uh, of the games that uh, had taken part this week. There's obviously no games on the Saturday, uh, obviously due to other situations. So uh, we have the results from the Monday uh, night's card of the Okean Cup. And the results read as follows. Uh, Bridge United were defeated 7-0 by All Saints Old Boys. Uh, Atletico Antrim were defeated 3-2 by FC Antrim in the Battle of Antrim Town there, you would say. Uh, Listen to Phil and Swifts were defeated 3-1 by Carnini Rangers. Cullybacky Olympic defeated New Park Olympic 4-0 in the Battle of the Olympics. We had Randallstown Sky Blues who defeated North End Shamrocks by three goals to one. And we had Shore Wanderers who defeated Clockmill Thistle by four goals to two. That takes us on to the Wednesday evening. And on Wednesday evening we had a mixture of games. Uh, there was uh, New Park uh, uh, Olympic defeated Temple Patrick by three goals to nil. We had Randallstown Reds who were heavily defeated by 8-0 to Connor Rangers who have just come up uh, from the third division having won the qualifier last week which carried on from last year and it seems to be that Big Hugh and Dale Rogers have landed on their feet there, uh, an 8-0 victory is quite an impressive win for their first game in the second division. We have Gogorn Blues who have defeated uh, Atletico Antrim four goals to one. We have Cullybaggy Olympic who have defeated Woodside five goals to one. That's a great start for Cullybaggy Olympic. That's two victories in a row with plenty of goals scored. We then have Riverdale who were defeated 1-0 by Seven Towers. We have Listen to Phil and Swifts who drew one all with Steadfast. We have Glen Ravel 
who won 5 0 versus Weckhurst Star. A quite an impressive result there for the Glens. We have FC Antrim 2, North End Shamrocks 3. Quite a good result there for the Shamrocks. Well fought back from going behind 2 1 just shortly after the half. And we have St Condals who defeated Cushendall 3 goals to 0. That takes us on to the Thursday evening, which compiled of first division games and the results read as possible. Carnini Rangers scored a fantastic seven goals to defeat Abbeyview seven goals to one. We have Randall's Town Sky Blues who defeated Carnlock Swifts by seven goals to two. Quite a fantastic feat there. We have a game that was played out right to the very, very end with a three-all draw between Clock Rangers and Penarol. All Saints Old Boys uh, drew one each with Shore Wonders. A great result for Shore Wonders and quite a disappointing result for uh, All Saints Old Boys by all means. We had uh, a Hockle Thistle who defeated Mixland by two goals to one. Apparently that was a storming game. We had FC Molina and Big Stevie Turner and the boys who defeated a Hockle Rovers by three goals to one. And then a game which I took coverage in was uh, by Bally Keel who were defeated 5-0 by Harryville Homers. And here we have a couple of the goals. Well, I hope you enjoyed the goals there and some of the coverage from uh, Ballykeel there where the Harryville Homers were uh, run out, um, very impressive winners, uh, league champions, they're going to be very, very hard to defeat this year. Having said that, Ballykeel kept fighting on right to the very, very end and quite impressive play at times, but just couldn't actually break down the, the uh, Homers defence. I think it'll be hard for any team to break down the Homers defence this year, uh, best of luck to you all who try. Uh, now as part of the club insights uh, for the uh, incoming season, this week I was lucky enough to catch up with Paul Quiggs Quigley. Big Paul from Randallstown, he's been there the best part of eight to se seven or eight years now, uh, taking to do with uh, Randallstown Sky Blues, a fantastic club with uh, a legendary status in the Ballymena Saturday Morning League, and uh, this was what Paul had to say. Paul, uh, it's uh, great to have you, thanks very much for your time. No bother, Sherman, great to have you as well. Uh, part of the BSN TV show, thank you very much indeed. Uh, Paul, as I was saying to the, uh, the viewers there, obviously uh, we're looking forward to the season starting and the season has started. Uh, you have had a, a bit of pre-season there, and obviously you have been uh, building a bit of confidence for the season there, Paul. How was uh, pre-season going for you? Pre-season went well. Uh, I had three games, uh, a couple of hard ones in it. Uh, played Ballet Clare Reserves, I played them. I think it was 4-2 or 5-2, and a really hard game in between against Woodville, which was a 1-1-0, so all considering, uh, everybody come through it injury free, um, so it was good, good, the lads are starting to tell, so they are, a bit more work needs to be done, fitness and stuff, but it'll come, Sherman, you know that by yourself. That's what it's all about, Paul, you know, obviously, it's all about dedication and hard work, and obviously you've been the club man here. How long have you been involved here, Paul? How long have you been involved here at uh, Randallstown? I'm not sure, Sherman, to be honest with you. I think it's probably seven or eight years um, at this club. Um, great club. Alec brought me in, I say, Hogarty, way back in the day, so uh, loving it. Um, you could work for Alec all your days. He's never off the phone to you every other day, wanting to eat chat, about this, that, and the other. So, I think Alec, this club wouldn't survive, so I'm here for him. Paul, uh, having said that, even at the end of the day, there you know, like uh, you have a quite a few good players there, Paul. There's boys on about that, that field there. They're very, very fit. Obviously, the the fitness of pre-season that you put into them is obviously starting to show its uh, mark there, you know. And uh, it's going to be a long season. What, what is the aspirations this season, Paul? You are looking, you know, Randalls Town Sky Blues have always been members of this league. They've always been a sturdy side. From what I can hear and from what I can see, Paul, I think this is one of the best time, the, be the best teams that you've uh, collected here from when I would say back in the day whenever Randall's Town were a definite top two and top three team and fighting for nearly every trophy that was there. I think it was a back on that level again, Paul. What would you say there yourself? Oh, I hope, to, hope so. You know, uh, we're starting to slow build this past two or three years, bringing two or three in every season instead of wholesale changes. Um, we always felt that a slow build is, is easier maintained. Um, the quality there, without a doubt, is, is, is super, especially up front. Uh, young Nutter adds a great, great excitement to the team. The wee lad special, so he has third of pace. Mentor, boys they got there. JP coming in with Keown from a this year. Fantastic player. And to build down their midfield and stuff for Randall Reid. And, and Stiggy Wilson coming in this year is a, a bit of fight and a bit of bite to it. And I think that's what we're lacking at times. So we're happy with the work we've done, you know, but we need to push on. We need to consolidate in the top four, get a cup one this year, and another good run in the Junior Shooter Cup. Well, Paul, listen, I, at BSN TV, I'm sure Mourinho will hear the special one himself talking to you there. I certainly wish you all the best for the season. I'm sure that you're going to get it everything you have because that's, the, that's what the ethos is at Randallstown uh, Sky Blues Football Club. And Paul, I'll just let you wish you all the best there. Thank you. Good morning. Good luck yourself, sir. And keep up the very, very good work, sir. Thank you, sir.
I hope you enjoyed that interview there with Big Paul, very informative. Uh, it's very nice uh, for all you clubs out there to uh, obviously give me a couple of minutes of your time. And uh, I think it's good for the viewers as well. It lets everybody else see that uh, all the clubs will uh, get included throughout the year. Now, on Thursday evening, uh, as I say, Ballykeel had played a uh, Harryville Homers in the, uh, a great derby game. There's quite a lot of uh, the, the guys know each other, but none any more than Barry and Gary Bones. So I, had, I was lucky enough to pull up and get an interview with the two brothers, one playing for Ballykeel and obviously Gary playing for Harryville Homers. And this is what they had to say. Uh, Barry, I'm just going to start with you here. Barry, I thought, now, you were down 4-0, Barry, but I obviously thought you would fought on to the end with a bit of pride there. You know, it's, not, it's never easy to play against the champions, I'm sure you'll, I'm sure you'll admit that. Oh, we, we fought hard. It was a hard game. They're super, super team likes. But um, it's just about, about us now. It's just about pushing on going from here. Like, it's three points lost at home, fair enough, but we'll get stronger 100%. We're a good manager, good squad. 100% we'll get stronger as we go along. And at the end of the day, any game against the Hummer is going to be hard. I would dirt, uh, ask him saying, yeah, but I would definitely agree with that. There, there's not too many teams going to come up here and get anything this year. But uh, you know, like, having said that, Barry, in uh, retrospect, there's not too many teams going to get anything after the Hummers this year. There's no doubt about it. I'm sure you'll agree with that. hundred uh, percent, yeah, definitely. Uh, whenever we'll be a wee bit better organised when we get in the way, we'll um, we'll definitely take points off Hummers this season. Well, is, is, is that a promise? Is it, Barry? Hundred percent, definitely. We'll take points off Hummers this season. That's the spirit, the boy. That's the spirit. What do you think of that guy? What do you think the young bro younger brother trying to tell you there? But hey, uh, at the end of the day, guy, uh, four 0 You come up here to do business at the end of the day. Four 0 uh, quite an impressive result. And uh, what would you say about Ballykill? They fought on at the end, Barry. Uh, well, we knew it was going to be a tough battle because it's a bit of a derby, and we know boys are from Ballykill. But we knew we were going to get the three points anyway because they just haven't got the strikers to score goals, and we have. And Gary, you end up you got one there yourself about a lovely play there by uh, Paul O'Neill there, just he uh, slipped you in through there and you just put it in by the goalkeeper nice and easily and cosily I thought. Yeah, well just slide in on it, I didn't really put any aim or anything on it, it was just Harry Reach in it, lucky enough I went in. Well uh, Gary, after last year, a uh, great season you've had, you seem to have a couple of signings there, uh, this squeebie boy standing out a mile for me there the night, he was very very impressive, he got the ball, he was cutting through uh, the, the other the, uh, opponents there the night, like a knife through butter, and I'm sure uh, Barry would even stand up for that there, there's no doubt about it, he's a special player and he's a great additive to the team. Yeah, he is, I mean, you ever won the league you want to improve in the next year and you have to sign better players to do that, so we knew squeebie would be a boy that could help us move on and hopefully get the junior cup, so... Happy days, he's saying. Well, listen, from BSN TV, from Sure Mourinho, could you two just please shake hands there, lads? There you are, there you are, lads. Thanks very much. I think that was pretty fascinating there, uh, what uh, Gary and Barry had to say. Obviously, uh, one getting the better of the other this evening, but uh, wee Barry there sticking the bone in to big Gary, saying that he's going to get some points before the end of the season. And that's what it's all about, you know. That's what the spirit of the thing's all about. You know, you don't go into a football pitch without hoping and, and wanting to give your best and hoping that you're going to get the best result out of it. So uh, thanks to you, Gary, and thanks, Barry, there, for your help uh, during this week. It's been nice to uh, have you on the show. and very, very welcome you are. Uh, during that uh, game on Thursday evening there, I was lucky enough to run into uh, Mucci Bar. Now, Mucci Bar uh, is a legend in the Saturday Morning League, as we have said before in the show there. Mucci uh, got an award, the Merit Award of the Saturday Morning League last year at the uh, Ballymena Saturday Morning League dinner, which was very well deserved and very well uh, honoured to give it to him. Uh, I thought it was absolutely fantastic by uh, the, club, uh, the league secretary, Mr Brian Montgomery. Uh, I was lucky enough to ask Mucci four or five questions. It's a small uh, part of the show which we'll be trying to do from now on and we're going to try and get a legend weekly. And this week we decided to start off with Mucci Bar. And we had three or four questions for Mucci. And this is what Mucci's answers were. Uh, Mucci, as far as uh, your time in the Sartre Money is concerned, uh, who, Mucci, just a personal question, who's the best player you've ever played alongside? Uh, sure, I've played in junior, uh, sorry, more like for a long time, uh, 10 years or so. Probably the best in the early stages was probably be Tommy Sloan. Um, fly machine, you know, as reputation speaks for itself. Why Man United? So, yeah, probably. There's not many boys in this town played for Man United, Mitch. Uh, not, not very many. Uh, no, don't work a thing, oh, actually. Uh, maybe one or two from Northern Ireland, but uh, yeah, that's true enough. Well, then, Mitch, who's the best player that you? Whenever you played for yourself, you played for about a good 20, 23, 24 years. Who's the best player you ever played against? Or who's the best boy you come up against, Mitch? Oh, there's there a lot of boys, hard players. Um, played against uh, over the years, maybe one or two boys from Antrim years ago. Big uh, Timmy Clark, uh, uh, we Joe Quinn, boys like that. They were hard players uh, and good players as well. So maybe one or two of them boys. Well, then, Mitchie, just uh, just on the con on the con of the fact there, just as far as good players is concerned, who's the best player you ever seen, Mitchie? Best player I've ever seen. Not in the Saturday morning, in the world, probably be Jordy Best. 
Uh, big idol of mine. Love him. Great player. Great player. Had that been one of the number one. One minute. Just one last question here. Uh, obviously, your time at the Hummers and whatnot. You know, when you're you're bringing up a new squad. Or you, the squad you've brought up here is uh, quite obviously w- very well worthy champions, and they are moving on here at this moment in time. Uh, I'll not say that the score is as we speak, as far as the uh, show for Sunday night is concerned. What advice have you got for any young guys there, Mitch? You can out and just trying to start up in the game, you know, on a Saturday morning league and that. There, you know, what would you say to them? You know, well, if you want to play football, you have to work at it. You have to love the game. You have to uh, really want to play, and of course, uh, train hard and and listen to the coaches if they're if they played a bit of football at all. Listen to them and and just work and work hard, work, work hard at it and, and and practice nearly every day if you can. And um, I think you could do all right. Well, that's Mitchie Blair. That's uh, Mitchie, uh, Mitchie Barr again there. Thanks very much, Mitchie, for your time there. Cheers, boy. Thanks, Sharon. Thank you, mate. So now it's on to uh, the Macmillan Cancer Cup. Now, this was an absolutely fantastic event. The Macmillan Cancer Cup was held on Friday evening past there. It was organised by young Josh McCrory, who's a friend of mine. He's actually the son of Barney McCrory, who originally was the best goalkeeper in the town at his time. There's never been a better goalkeeper in this town than Barney McCrory. Time changed and other guys came along, Barney retired and other guys took that mantle place, but Barney McCrory was the first good goalkeeper in Ballymena. Everybody knows that, and a gentleman. Barney actually now is the proprietor of the uh, status of the keys at the shoe grounds. Barney looks after all the groundwork with another couple of guys there. Barney actually took part in the game along with Big Darren Crawford. It was great to see Big Darren coming back there, ex Linfield and Ballymena United goalkeeper. Now, the game was organised between Bally, all the young Bally guys who support Manchester United and support Liverpool decided to get a Bally Manchester United 11 against the Bally Liverpool 11. This was a fantastic festivity, there was quite a good crowd there and I was lucky enough to be able to, they, in fact, they actually raised apparently three to £4,000 for charity. I thought that was absolutely fantastic, my heart goes out to them. I thought it was an honour and a pleasure for Sure Mourinho and BSN TV to be there to offer some coverage and this is what they said after the game. BSN TV here, Sir Mourinho here at the uh, showgrounds where on behalf of uh, Josh uh, McCrory here just in the middle with the purple t-shirt on and the goalkeeper's gloves and the goalkeeper's shirt, we has uh, been organising an absolutely fantastic event which as far as you can see in the sign behind him is uh, Macmillan uh, Cancer Nurses. I think it's been an absolutely great idea that uh, Josh has organised this uh, show here. There's been quite a good crowd about as you can see there's lots and lots of people about here this evening. They've all been enjoying themselves. They've raised the best part of two and a half to three thousand pounds all on behalf of Macmillan Nurses and I just want to say to Josh, Josh I think it's been absolutely fantastic that you've organised this here. It's been Liverpool Reds, all a bunch of friends against Liverpool Manchester, or against a Bally Manchester United, all from the one area. Josh, I think it's been absolutely fantastic. What, what, was the, what spurred you on to do this here? It's been a great event. First time I've seen you, Sherman, I said many a time we've talked about this match and I just thought, I'm going to do it. I'm going to finally organise it and make it big as I can. And I think I've surpassed what I even thought my whole head, so I'm just chuffed. Well, Josh, I think you should be chuffed because listen, you were saying the best part of two and a half to three thousand pounds. That's before you just go to a local pub here and a local upstairs dance and doing a lot of raffles and stuff. And it's been great though, all the local businesses and stuff that has supported you, obviously. On behalf of BSN TV, I just want to say it's been absolutely some fantastic to be part of it. And thanks for letting me be part of it. I'll just, I'll just come over here. What's your name, young? Uh, Curtis Nagel. Curtis, you really enjoyed that game. There, you were running up and down the, the pitch. I really enjoyed it. Was it a good game? Did you enjoy yourself? I was absolutely brilliant. But I have to say, all credit goes to Josh for organising the whole fantastic event. I have to home half to him. I think it's great to be raising money for charity, isn't it? Namely, uh, Macmillan uh, uh, Cancer Nurses, you know what I mean? Oh, definitely. I, it's just a credit to Josh and all the lads for putting in an effort for doing this. That's fantastic. Thank you very much. Big man, you've enjoyed yourself. I thought you had a great game there. and There was a bit of dispute whenever you were brought off there to start off with. But then, of course, you just wanted to play so much, didn't you? I like to think I brought myself back into it in the second half. But, uh, yeah, no, it's a great game. Great credit to Craig Young and uh, Josh here. And, yes. Lewis. Lewis, Lewis, yeah. They both organised both teams. They got us all geared up on Facebook. There was a lot of banter going around, and it feels great to be standing here with a big smile on the face because he's my United boys that served us. Well, that's what it's all about, hey, isn't it? I was just going to an article about you. Young man, yeah, I thought you had a fantastic game there. You just, just signed for Wakehurst, then, I believe. My name's Kyle Jackson, and I'd like to thank Craig Young, Josh McCurry, and Lewis McCurry for inviting me to the McMahon Cancer football match. I think that's very fair of you. I think that's, that's, uh, that deserves a round of applause. That's very good of you. Because, listen, lads, see at the end of the day, Councillor McMillan Nurses has been the winner here at the end of the night. A big man, you enjoyed yourself. You looked as if you were running about enjoying yourself. You broke a good sweat. And everybody everybody was ch- clear, cheering each other on, you know. My name's Brian Park. How, uh, uh, there again, it's a, for a great cause. So it has cancer. It's great, like, and the nurses and that, they really serve everything they get. They certainly do. I don't think they get enough, actually, to be quite honest. They don't. Josh has done the utmost best. I, I have the utmost respect for that. He's one of my best mates. And... 
it's just done he's done everyone proud here so he has it's great like so it's that's absolutely fantastic. Let's just show us that trophy there and show them what it's all about and give us a cheer there. And that's the, that's the captain, that's the lads of the uh, Bali uh, Liverpool set up there this evening. And uh, it's back to the show. Thank you. I'm sure you'll agree that was a fantastic evening and a great event them guys had organised there. We, Joyce McCrory and all the boys you had along with them. It was just absolutely fantastic. You know, it was great, so it was. And... Uh, Basically, that's, that's the end of the show this week, and uh, it's great to, for all you guys who have been on the show there, and none less than myself, Sean Mourinho, the special one. I'm out at Game On here, as you can see behind me, the Game On uh, Multi uh, Sports Complex in Craigstown Industrial Estate in the, uh, Craigstown Road in Ballymena. I'm also here with uh, my, co or my main producer, my main man, my boss, Mr. Alan Kirk at Arc Media, and it's Sean Mourinho on BSN TV here. I'll see you all next week. That's going to leave me. And I'm too sick for this song.